there's no traffic lights, but we do have yeah. the so, I mean, traffic uh, cops blowing whistles and tweeting and waving. And Up to six cops on duty on some corners. These little three wheelers were quite common. Just another one of the many temples I passed by. Marigolds on sale for the temples. Just the street corner at the Jaya Bagaswari Temple. One of the many Shiva Lingams. They were all over the place in Kathmandu. Just people sitting in the streets. Very colourful place in places. And I had all sorts of things for sale outside the temple complex, especially marigolds. Entrance to the Pashupatan temple complex. They wanted me to, me to pay to actually light the fire here. And only Hindus allowed beyond this gate. Cross the Gnats above the river and crossing over the Bagmati River, one of the holiest in Nepal. And here is a temple again from the Gnats I sat on. On the gaps at the main Hindu temple in Kathmandu, um, non-Hindus or non-Indians not allowed in. Just getting ready for a cremation just over there. In the sort of funeral pyre I'm getting. put wet straw on top of the pyre so you can't actually see the body as it burns. A row of Shiva temples above the river, inside they all have a lingam and all around there are these holy men. on the hill overlooking the temple complex. Up on top of the hill there are a whole heap of lingam shrines and of course the ubiquitous monkeys. Down by the river they're preparing to float a goddess down the river. Taking a goddess down the river for a... going to the holy river. Another one there doesn't go very far. Another of the bamboo swings all over the place. Then I walked to the Buddha Stupa further along. The Buddha Stupa, the biggest in the pool. Just circumnavigating the Buddha, you will have to go around clockwise. There are shops all around the stupa. <coughs> Praying at the stupa. I walked around the stupa and ground level and then climbed up to the first level and walked around the base of it. Again, the base is the earth, the eyes are the symbol of enlightenment, and then the 13 steps above for the 13 ways to enlightenment. Just some of the many monks sitting around the statue. Then walk the about 8k back to my hotel. Peak hour traffic in Kathmandu. KFC and the local KFC and Wimpy is not just in Caniva. Another butcher shop walked by, they are all over the place. Cross over the Doby Cola or River. Um, it is a very polluted river, just dead animals and everything in it. And on the way home there are thousands of birds in the buildings. Went to Bactapur, a small city out of Kathmandu for the day. Had to catch a taxi there because it's a bit far to walk and you have to pay to get into the city square, the Durba Square there. The Bhaktapar Durba or Royal Square, all the major cities had their own royal squares, very earthquake damaged unfortunately. The Krishna Temple and the Palace of 55 very ornately carved windows. In Durba Square in Bhaktapur, uh, 
Palace with 55 windows, temple. The um, Krishna temple with the 24 pictures of Kama Sutra, how to make babies. And the Shiva temple. The Kama Sutra in Timber. And in my houses, and finally, give them the Golden Gate, the Palace of Fifty Five Windows and the Boo Patindra Column, the Talju Bell and the Nag Pokhara Pond with the Snake God on the column in the middle. Gods everywhere around the whole complex, the Bhagwati Tower and David next to the elephant on the Talju Temple. Then went on to the Tal Maori Square, the second main square in Bhaktapur, with restaurants on the side as well. Second main square in back to Poo with the five level pagoda and over here the little tracky thing and spreading and drying the basmati rice. The five-storey Bharabnath Temple, the peacock window, back to bar is full of carved wooden windows. On a hill overlooking back to bar, then I went to Pottery Square where all the spinning is done by hand, no motors, all sorts of pottery around the place, little things for putting offerings into the temples, just standard earthenware pots. Lady doing spinning outside a house. Back to par is full of carved windows, very intricate. The whole area is UNESCO listed, so you can't reckon. I think even the new buildings have to be in the old fashioned style. Still a lot of earthquake damage and buildings being propped up though. In the Garden of Dreams in Kathmandu, a nice quiet spot in the middle of all the down, down chaos. Another of the bamboo swings. The gardens are built in the Edwardian style. It's just a completely different to anywhere else I went to in Kathmandu. Lots of marigolds growing. And this is how you mow the lawns in Nepal. At night I often went to this restaurant as I had Nepali food. <laughs> 